Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today I thought I would share with you my October lookbook. And yes, I'm aware it's the end of November and I should be showing you my November makes. Uh, but I, th I think I mentioned at the beginning of my November pattern of fabric haul, I came down with Viral Plague. So I had about 10, 12 days at the end of October, beginning of November, where there was absolutely zero sewing done, zero of anything getting done at all. Um, so I, yes, I'm very behind with uh, my actual makes, but I did finish these around about the middle of November and I wanted to show them to you separately to my November makes because I have a lot of bits and pieces to show you, which hopefully I will be able to do at the end of next week. So without further ado, this is the first of the uh, jumpsuits that I made. I've made four jumpsuits this month because as I mentioned, I absolutely love the um, navy and white one that I've made and wear that all the time and I just wanted some variation. So um, this is a black and white rayon that was sent to me in error by Indian Royal Treasures, the eBay shop where I get all of this fabric from. And um, they said I could either return it or they would give me a 30% discount on the price of the fabric. So I ended up getting about six meters for about 15 quid, which is a bargain. Um, usually the rails are quite narrow, so uh, with the, the actual, you need quite a lot of fabric because these trouser legs are very, very wide, as I will show you here. I'm gonna insert some clips down here and again I think these are going to be indoor clips because uh, it's a bit windy cold and horrible outside so yeah I'm brave but I'm not that brave um, this is the uh, trouser part of these are from the Dorothy Perkins jumpsuit that I had that I decided that I would trace the pattern off of and then this is a by hand London and a bodice with the v-neck and I absolutely love it um, this I'm going to be showing you three more Anna bodices in this makes video, so that brings the total up to 21, I think. If you've watched my Anna lookbook, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, nothing really to add to that, other than this is something that's very going to be very comfortable to wear. I would wear this at this time of year if I worked in an office or somewhere that was heated. Um, as I work somewhere that is not overly heat I mean it is heated but it's not like warm I am finding that I'm having to layer up lots and lots and lots and lots of things and because of that and because I make my stuff quite tight fitting um, because I just prefer my clothes that way I don't have a lot of room to layer stuff underneath this and also I think that tights would stick to these trousers quite a lot so at the moment I am wearing these kind of around the house um, when I get home because as I say they're very comfortable I feel put together but they are they're really nice and soft and floaty and come spring which I'm already looking forward to uh, I think I'm going to get loads and loads of wear out of them so yeah this is number one I shall show you uh, jumpsuit number two. Be right back. So this is jumpsuit number two. It's another by hand London bodice with the same trouser pattern. I made this one with this what I've christened sort of leopard, green leopard rayon. Um, I also think that animal prints are totally neutral and love green, love black. So yeah I'm really happy with this one. Um, there isn't a lot to say about it. I did get a lot of questions on my Anna lookbook about like, oh, don't you get bored sewing the same thing over and over again? And no, I don't because um, they all come out so differently because of the fabric choices. It's a bodice that I really love the look of on me and it's really easy for me to make. And as I think I have said for the last sort of six or seven videos, I have so little time to selfishly sew these days because I am so busy with commissions, which is amazing, that um, something that I don't need to think about is great. Um, what I will be trying to do going forward, um, because I know I'm making a lot of the same things and showing you guys a lot of the same things, is I will be trying to put in like one new style um, a month to try and challenge myself and, um, you know, just tr experiment with different patterns. Um, the other side of that with for me is that um, with some of the fabrics that I have, I can't get hold of them anymore or I, they're really expensive. And although I do make muslins, you don't really get a full sense of the final garment until it's actually finished in your fashion fabric. And if you're not in love with it, that to me is a little bit sad. 
um, especially if you can't get hold of the fabric anymore. So I tend some of the, some of the fabrics I have, as I say, are quite rare. So I tend to be quite stingy with them and make stuff that I know I love and I know I'm going to wear, which is this bodice um, with many variations on the bottom. So yeah, um, another thing that I got asked was rayon fabrics. Um, don't they crease a lot? And yeah, uh, I guess it does. I guess. Um, like cotton's crease quite a lot um, I think I get away with it with these because they're so voluminous um, that in the sort of like in the bottom half that uh, again with the skirts and dresses that I make that um, the creases don't show up as much as they would on say like a, a shift dress or a pencil skirt um, but you wouldn't make a shift dress or a pencil skirt in rayon anyway so um, yes they do crease I don't mind that um, and I just I just love how floaty light and comfortable they are to wear so yeah that's my take on that. So I will insert a clip for you down here of me uh, twirling in this so you can get an idea of what it actually looks like. Um, as I said, very, very comfortable, um, fun to wear, kind of looks like a maxi dress, uh, but doesn't feel quite so formal as a maxi dress, or at least that's my take on jumpsuits. Right, so I shall put on another one and I'll be right back. So jumpsuit number three I was wearing in my November fabric and pattern um, haul video and I will now insert a clip of me wearing the full length of it down here for you. Um, I absolutely love this one. It's a mashup of three different patterns. Uh, the sleeves are from a Vogue pattern that off the top of my head I cannot remember the number of but I will add that for you on the screen now. Uh, it's the By Hand London Flora Wrap Bodice and it is the Palazzo Pants from the Dorothy Perkins uh, Ready to Wear jumpsuit that I own that I've chased off. Um, yeah, I am in love with this silhouette. I love the sleeves, I love the, I think the sleeves balance out the plunging neckline and um, just the wide leg trousers. Again, kind of looks like a maxi dress, but for me, it feels much more casual than a maxi dress. I'm not sure why I think maxi dresses are kind of a bit more sort of like glamorous, but especially when they're made in cottons and stuff like that, but just for me, they do. So this is, I don't know in my brain, some a nice, a nice compromise. But yeah, I am absolutely in love with this one and I cannot wait to wear it when the weather gets a little bit warmer, which it will do in about six months in the UK, so. Yeah, I'll just have to go on holiday somewhere warm. But um, yeah, I love this. Very happy with this. And uh, I have one more to show you, the final one. So be right back. So this is the fourth and final jumpsuit that I made. Um, technically, I cut them out in October and then I finished them in November. Um, but yeah, so this is another neutral and it's the uh, black and sort of creamy white snake skin print that um, I absolutely love. Uh, again, it's exactly the same as the last one. I'll insert a clip here for you for a full spin. Um, it's the Vogue pattern, the By Hand London Flora Wrap Dress bodice and the um, same Palazzo pants. Um, yeah, they, I, I can definitely see the, there being more of these in the future. Um, again, like I said earlier, people ask me if I don't get bored saying sewing the same thing over and over again. And no, I don't. I, you know, I when I was buying my clothes, I would, um, if I found something that I liked and that suited me and sort of fit me, I'd buy it in every colour. Um, I have dresses, ready to wear dresses in here from Trashy Diva um, in a particular style, the honey, the honey dress, and I have about 14 or 15 of those. I have some knit dresses that I finally retired this year because I'd worn them to death and I had every colour that ASOS made in that particular style. And so it's just something that like, I, I do. Uh, if I find something I love, then I buy it in every colour available. Um, and it kind of like it, it proves getting dressed for me because I know the things that I have in my wardrobe are things that I love that I, are easy to wear and that suit me. So yeah, I don't get bored sewing the same thing over and over again. Um, I love the fact that I can sew the same thing over and over again in a variety of fabrics, which gives me a look that I love in all these different kind of styles and, and things. So yeah, um, no, totally don't get bored. Um, so. There's, there's, like I said, there's not much really more to say about these. Uh, they will be worn lots. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah. So this, this one, I've um, the the other V-neck one. I've actually tacked the uh, the V-neck together at a strategic point, and I've not done that on this one yet. And hopefully, I'm not flashing too much bra at you. Um, I will be doing that. Um, yeah, like wrap dresses. Uh, <laughs> always a little bit um, risque for me if I don't sew them down. Joys of having big boobs. Um, but yeah, I love, 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 love this style and there will be more of these in my future, definitely. 
So I have one more selfish item to show you and then on to commissions. Be right back. So the very last selfish sewing item I have to show you is my Brains and Beauty Alexander Henry pin-up fabric um, Anna dress. And I, in my Anna lookbook, you will have seen that I have, I think, four uh, pin-up dresses in, in this style. And this is number five. And I love her. It's absolutely awesome. Um, I'll insert a clip for you down here. And as you can see, I've got another gathered skirt on it. It's very full. Um, it is four panels of fabric because I think I ended up with enough to do, to do four rather than just the usual three, which makes it super, super twirly, which I love. Um, yeah, not much more to say about this really. I added um, a mauve waistband, um, which picked out kind of like the mauvey violet purples in the print. And again, I'm, as I mentioned before, I like to have a contrasting waistband on these prints because if you cut it out of the print itself, you end up with random body parts. Now, if I could have found a green that would have been a perfect match, I would have used the green. But um, in the short time frame that I had to do that and the local fabric store having a limited range of solids, this was the uh, best option I felt and I really like it. So yeah, um, there's not much more to say. Like I said, you've I've seen a million of these now this is number 21 I think and actually looking through my stash there was some in my UFO pile that need to be fixed I think I've made more than 22 I think there's actually around about 25 of uh, this bodice floating around in different variations so yeah um I love it what can I say um right so selfless sewing I got lots and lots and lots of stuff prepped but I didn't get anything finished in October um, there were lots of reasons for that, um, all of them I'm sure were great and I can't remember any of them right off the top of my head. Um, I did get lots and lots of little bits and pieces done like bags and stuff like that so I'll insert some photos here for you of the different bags that I've got done because I think there were around about four or five that got finished. Um, yeah I am going to be incredibly busy uh, in December. I will be doing a fabric haul but it's going to be slightly different and I was thinking about doing vlogmas and then I realised that I'm insane and I already have loads of stuff to do and uh, why would I try and you know make myself an insane person by the uh, Christmas period. So I've decided that I'm going to try and film a little bit every day and then put them into vlogs on for the weekends showing you the different bits and pieces that I can, I've been getting up to, what I've been making and um, I'm also going to film as I go along the different presents that I've been making and then I'm going to put those all into a video which should be going up on Boxing Day. So yeah, December is going to be a little bit different uh, uh, here on my YouTube channel but I very much hope you enjoy the different format. It's going to be a lot of fun, uh, interesting to, to try and do that. Um, yeah, don't know how daily vloggers do it, I really don't. So anyway, enough waffling. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've been making in sort of like October and November. Uh, if you have, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye! Look uh, 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 <sighs> Waffle waffle. <laughs> oh Jenny. Oh hello. Shut up Sean. Pattern pattern there. Can't think. As I said, bloody cold outside. I'm not doing that. Um you've already heard that. Really bits.